Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about 10 fashion mistakes that women make all the time. And most of them are, I feel like it's just a matter of people miss out those things. Like, you know, women are rushing or they did not pay attention or they just don't notice and maybe nobody ever told them. Uh, they all are very easily fixable. It's just so fun for me to share those things. Um, I enjoy doing these things. So if you are new on my channel, hello, my name is Sima. I make videos on lifestyle, fashion tips and tricks, and parenting tips. And I would really love if you consider subscribing below. And if you end up liking this video, then give a big thumbs up. So let's just start. So my very first fashion mistake I see women make is a lot of times if you buy like a, a pencil skirt and a blazer, you would notice uh, behind there's always stitch a uh, thread that is, you know, the, you know, where the slits are and the thread is you are supposed to cut those things and that way it looks better on your body, it flows better and you can walk on those things better, especially in pencil skirts. And I see so many women do not cut that thing, the slit. You can see how they're walking and because it's attached, you cannot even really walk properly and you're like, a, you're like a rubbing your legs and walking like a penguin. And it just looks so bad. You could be wearing a nice suit, you're going for a job interview or you work in a corporate world and it looks really bad. So I think when you buy a suit or a pencil skirt or just a blazer, make sure that slit is cut and there's a thread, you're supposed to cut it with a scissor or you know, whatever, you know, knife or something, just pay attention to those things and make sure it's all cut and so you can walk properly and it looks and flows really well on your body. So the number two fashion mistake is too much print. Um, too much print. I know last year 2019 was all about animal prints and leopard print, snake and all sorts of animals and I was obsessed with leopard print. But if you are following a fashion, make sure you are not overdoing it. And I see a lot of women like wearing a leopard boots, wearing leopard belt and top. It's just too much. You know, if you have a bunch of different things, make sure if you are have a leopard belt make sure you're wearing a plain trouser or plain top and then you put a leopard uh, belt or leopard handbag and you know if you have like a leopard shirt make sure you're wearing a plain or maybe neutral or maybe black kind of trouser so it complements each other not uh, you know not all together it's like overdose of animal print that is a big fashion mistake so the third fashion mistake is pet hair if you are a pet owner, you will understand exactly what I mean. Uh, I also have a cat in my house and I hate to see women walking around in their dark color jeans or leggings, especially black color. It just grabs all the animal, um, animal hair and looks so bad. You know, if you care about your appearance, how you look, how you're going to present yourself, I think you should spend a little bit more time and make sure before you step out, make sure you clean yourself. Uh, I keep my link removers like everywhere in the house. One is in the garage, one is in the car, one is right outside like in my foyer in the drawer. If you have an animal, it means you love your animal, you, you are a pet person but also you should take care of your clothes before you're stepping out. You could be wearing expensive black trousers if it's full with pet hair, it just looks bad. And not just it's not just about even fashion because I just feel like if I am covered with my pet hair and going to somebody's house or going to work, I'm I'm spoiling somebody's house or my office chair. And you know, maybe some people might be allergy, so I'm spreading the hair all over the place. Besides all the fashion mistake, it's just not nice. It's a big no-no, so make sure you clean it. If you don't have a lint remover, the roller, you can use any kind of tape, the packaging tape, 
uh, duct tape, any kind of tape, it works just fine. So my fourth fashion mistake is too much jewelry. Um, so many women, like, you know, they love jewelry, obviously, so they go, they cover every single piece, your neck, big choker, big statement necklace, big giant earrings, uh, like a half a dozen bracelets, half a dozen, you know, bangles, and it looks just so overcrowded, you cannot, you know, you cannot pinpoint your eyes, what it looks good, what doesn't look good, it just loses everything. So too much jewelry is just not a fashion statement. You, It's not fashion. If you want to stand out, make sure you're doing one thing and that is your thing. And whether it's your necklace or bracelets or your earrings, only one thing has to pop up, you know, not like a half a dozen things. And that's a big fashion mistake. So my fifth fashion mistake is wrong bra size. Um, I don't know when was the last time you checked your bra size when was the last time you measured yourself um, I know women just get stuck with one size like you know I'm 34 B I'm 36 C and they just go pick up that size and they come home and just wear it it doesn't they don't even notice the bra size change or something happens if you lost weight recently, you were pregnant, you delivered a baby, your body had some sort of transformation, or you know, even as you get older, you lose muscle tissues and your bra size changes. So it's very important to check yourself like at least once a year. That's a good number, I think. And, um, and it just looks so bad, like especially in the summertime, I see women like always strap is always hanging because they, doesn't fit properly the pads the the straps always hanging it's loose and um, they don't know what size they are and that's just a big fashion no no make sure your bra fits you really well so my number six fashion mistake is uh, we are still in bra actually so number six mistake is white bras a lot of women think if they're wearing white top or any light color top they should wear uh, white bra which is completely opposite if you are wearing a white top you should never wear a white bra it will just come right through because white on white it does not disappear it actually it brightens up and your bra will show up really bright so if you are um, if you are if you wear a lot of like light colors your um, whites your your tan your beige your light pink all those colors uh, make sure you just go with nude nude bras. Nude bras are the best one. They go with everything, no matter what you're wearing, what what color you're wearing, what pattern, anything. Uh, just plain nude bras are the best. So my seventh fashion mistake: too high heels. Um, um, many women think it's wearing high heels. Uh, make them look sexy nice stylish which is right you 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 look sexy you look nice but if it's too high and you cannot even walk then it's terrible it looks bad it's like a big fashion mistake so if you wanted to wear high heels in some particular event or wedding or prom or some special occasion make sure you practice in those uh, high heels make sure you walk in them for a while before you wear in that main your main event because if you're walking like a penguin and waddle 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 slowly it looks terrible everybody's gonna be looking at you and that's just uh, embarrassing so uh, wear heels that you can first of all you can wear comfortably I cannot wear more than three inches if I have to walk even for 10 minutes I'm not wearing heels at all you know so make sure you're comfortable you practice in it and then if you really like to wear four inches five inches you can wear it if you think you can rock those heels go for it so my number eight fashion mistake is wearing leggings as pants um, I think I mentioned this probably earlier too because it's and I, I know it could be very controversial because a lot of women uh, wear leggings including myself I wear legging all the time but only when I'm doing errands, when I'm lounging at home, or when I'm going to the gym or involved in any kind of physical activities. Other than that, I do not like to wear leggings as pants. Um, you could say, what's the difference wearing leggings as a pants? 
you, leggings are legging it's not jeans it's not like a black your dressy trouser if you're wearing legging and so many leggings out there they are not really good qualities it's very hard to find good quality legging which is like a really thick if you are a legging lover I think you should style them as legging. You wear a long, like a tunic style, like a long sweaters, layer them with tops and cardigans and make them stylish. Comment below ladies if you like to wear legging as your jeans. I don't know, I just don't like showing my butt. Like if I'm wearing legging, I wanna style, I wanna, I like to cover myself. And um, I don't know if I'm the only one crazy person think that way or uh, other people as well. So ladies, please comment below. Are you for show, showing your butt or no show butt? <laughs> it's a weird question, but uh, I would love to hear that, what other ladies think about what other uh, women's opinion on this i would really appreciate ladies if you can comment on that what is your opinion on that uh to show butt or no show butt on leggings so my ninth fashion mistake is low-rise jeans and thank goodness low-rise jeans are not in fashion they're not in trend and i'm i'm so happy if you if they were in fashion i think what maybe uh 10, 15 years ago, I think in early 2000, and they were so trendy, Hollister and uh, Abercrombie people, they were all, would have like really low rise jeans, and you cannot bend in those jeans. You cannot bend, you cannot sit down. People can see your butt, or people can see your underwear, your, you know, G-string or V-string, or whatever you're wearing, and that was such a big fashion mistake, and I'm so glad. I don't see them anymore and I'm just so happy high-rise jeans are in fashion and they just fit better they support everything they hold everything tight and you know you don't have to worry about looking down and bending down or doing something sitting with your family so my number 10 and last fashion mistake is VPL visible panty lines and uh, I'm sure we all seen it you know we it's 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 something that nobody intentionally do it, but don't realize, don't pay attention. A lot of times we change our clothes in the closet or just walk out and we don't really look ourselves. We don't really look in the mirror how your behind looks like it. So, and, but when you go out, if you're wearing a fitted dress or skirt or something like that, and you go out and you can see your visible, you know, your panty lines so clear, it looks, so bad I mean come on you know make sure when you change your clothes look at yourself in the mirror turn around look in the light and ask your spouse or boyfriend or any family member who's there with you and make sure they check you out and there's nothing going on everything is nice and smooth and then you are good to go there's so many no-show panties out there there's so many different brands so please invest in those uh, because that is just looks terrible. You will be embarrassed when you if you look at yourself in the mirror. But just pay attention before leaving the house, and not just the front, your face. Make sure you turn around and check out your back, and everything is nice and smooth. Because that's a big fashion mistake. So those were my ten fashion mistakes. I think um, I see the most in. Uh, and a lot of them are just not paying attention kind of things or didn't notice or you know we all women are in a rush or moms like you know we always on our toes so i hope you found this uh, video informative and you learned something new today so if you guys have any other fashion mistake if you know any other mistakes that people, women do it all the time please comment below i love to hear that uh, other than that i hope you enjoyed this video you learned something new today and uh, thank you so much for watching this. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.